Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to the Steel Family. What is this, episode four? Probably. Anyway, I'm excited about this. Now let me tell you why. So we have been kind of like avoiding, I guess, the Vanderbilt Grace for a little bit, at least the past like few episodes, because Nadine was pregnant, and I didn't want to like waste any time. But now, I kind of skipped forward a couple days, a couple sim days, I guess a couple months in real life if we're kind of scheduling time. Scheduling time? I don't know, looking at time that way, I guess. So she's in her third trimester, now she's going to have the baby any second. And I want to play with Matilda and Flynn a little bit tonight uh, because I want to invite over Flynn's girlfriend. You guys know Teresa. Now, I want to address this, though, for a second because there were a few comments that were kind of funny. Uh, one person was, a couple people actually were, like, concerned that Flynn and Riley were cousins. They're not cousins. Their parents are just close friends. They aren't, like, siblings. So there's no, like, weird familiar, like, familial, not familiar uh, words. There's no, like, relationship there that's actually, like, blood-related. So we're fine there. No incest here on Little Simsy. We know this. And, um... <laughs> Oh my gosh. And also, people seem to really hate Teresa. No, I don't think that's fair. I mean, listen, we know that Riley really hates Teresa, and that's justified. I mean, not really, but like, <laughs> Riley just hates a lot of people. And so Teresa happened to have her dad date Riley's mom for a very brief moment, and so we just hated her for no reason, and now we still hate her. So there's really no, like, clear reason to hate her and yet we all seem to and that's okay because we all kind of shipped like Flynn and Riley and that's you know whatever it's gonna happen um but also this whole let's play has become like me just plotting to ruin li like Riley's life completely I'm just going to destroy her and then you know make things better again that's fine right I mean I feel kind of bad because she's she's a nice-ish girl she doesn't deserve to have her life ruined but you know what that's okay she'll get over it eventually <laughs> it's gonna be a good time I just I love these sims a lot so right now we have Nadine at work not school that'd be weird uh Nadine's at work and we're gonna invite over to Teresa, and we're gonna just hang out with her a little bit because we haven't really seen her much in Let's Play and um, she is our girlfriend. Actually, she's just like our romantic interest. We aren't dating officially, I don't think. Uh, but we're gonna start. Actually, oh, let's do that tonight. Oh my god, they're so cute. Uh, oh, I ship it. Not really. I don't ship it at all, but you know, that's okay. Teresa Jefferson will be right over. That's good. I'm excited. Let, let's see really fast though. Hold on. I need to stop pausing the game so much. It's really bad. It's a bad habit of mine. Now, so if we look at the family tree here, we are not in fact related. We have a parent? Really? Okay, well, we're not related to anybody uh, important here. There's no, like, relationship to Meredith Steele or anybody, so that's good. Um, <laughs> I promise, we're not cousins. Um, but, oh, look, oh, she's here. Oh, dear. Oh, good, 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 good times. Now, let's get some screenings of this. Oh, no way. Looks like she's feeling flirty. That's good. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I really don't like her very much. Oh, poor Teresa Jefferson. She didn't ask for this. She doesn't deserve this. She's kind of cute, right? Like, we don't, we should, oh, okay. Well, you know what? Let's just get a good look at her. Oh, look at her feeling so, what, is she sad now? What is she? What are you feeling? What is your problem? Ugh, I'm trying to be a decent human here and, like, hang out with you, but if you're gonna, first kiss, no. Let's go, let's come embrace her. Maybe, 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 stop talking to your dad, it's kind of creepy. Hey, dad, like, your son's girlfriend's here. You need to, like, just calm down, okay? So we're going to come grab a snack. Let's eat the leftovers of this yogurt parfait. So other thing, we're going to bring the first joke of the day because I'm excited about it. I have three today. They're all really good ones. <laughs> there are so many Oh, there are so many joke comments on the last episode, and it's really good. Now, should we go out? Actually, yeah. Let's go somewhere. We're going to bring her out with us. Uh, I probably should ask her. Oh, wait, hold on. I pressed the M key on purpose, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend it's an accident because I want to ask her on a date instead of just, um, you know, going out this way. So we're going to go ahead. More choices. Romance. Maybe ask her on a date. That would be a good time, right? Come on, let's go. Let's go, Flynn Vanderbilt. I believe in you. Get the girl. Ooh, I don't like her very much. This is not good. <laughs> I need to, like, just be more accepting of people like Teresa because she's a nice girl. She doesn't deserve this. Now, where should we go? Um, this coffee house is where, like, Riley and her squad hang out all the time. So we can't go there. They would hate us. We would get fought if we tried to go there. Uh, what about Willow Creek? Is there a nice lot in Willow Creek we could head out to? Um, ooh, we could take her to a... <gasps> Should we go to a restaurant? Wouldn't that be cute if we went to a restaurant? I think we should go to a restaurant. That would be, oh, look, he's going to take her out to a restaurant for their first date on a nice school night. Precious. So the first <laughs> the first joke of the day, by the way, there's so many of them, like hundreds of them. And I think it's hilarious. So this, <laughs> this one is by Mercy, and it goes, guess what happened to the broken pencil? Never mind. There's no point. So good it's so good I love dumb jokes also it's super early in the morning right now so if I sound like a little bit weird like talky wise or if I just like blah, 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 mumble my words it's because it's early and I haven't spoken yet today so I feel kind of weird that's okay I didn't pre-record last night because it was super late and it was stupid fourth of July so so many fireworks like go America and whatnot but like guys neighbors it's midnight stop shooting off fireworks I can't sleep it's so annoying okay I'm sorry I'm bitter 
<laughs> celebrate Kayla don't be mad I just I have issues that way wow we're going to a restaurant oh my gosh this is so cute <gasps> wow look at this guy cleans up nice can she put on some nicer clothes please like I did not come here wearing this super fancy outfit just so she could wear a dumb sweater wow okay that's rude now this lot is from the gallery I believe somewhere I don't know what it is actually um but it's nice wow now let, let's see how do we let's go over here to this guy with the red hair um seems like his name is um ronald rushing let's go ask for a table um and just let's ha let's just have a talk because i want to ask her to be our girlfriend uh i want to maybe become closer with her just a little bit now who are these people who was you claire and um peter Par um um, now isn't Peter Parfait, I believe, if I remember correctly, that Meredith was really good friends with his wife for a long time, right? So, can someone please explain why he is presently out with this woman that is not his wife? Um, <laughs> that's concerning. Who is this? I don't know who these people are. There's so many weird townies that I've placed. Therese Perry. Oh, is that, huh. Hold on, I'm confused as to, like, who these people are. I don't even know what's going on right now. Now, oh, I saw a pretty blonde lady. Pretty blonde lady, come back. Where did you go? Oh, that, oh, is this one, is, this is the wife, Penelope Parfait. Okay, so I guess if the wife is here, it should be okay. It looks like Meredith is here, too. Oh, she put on a dress. Oh, my gosh, this is precious. Hold on, where are you going? What the heck? You guys, I, I wanted a table, not this. What are you doing? Hmm. Oh, are you, what is this? <laughs> what seems to be happening here? I'm conf now you're going to go sit down? All right, we're just going to follow him around. We're going to see where he goes. What are you planning, my friend? I'm concerned. That's okay. Well, now that's good. Except where's your girlfriend? <laughs> we're here on a date, girl. Come over here, Teresa. Can I just put her in my household? Will that be okay? Yeah. Oh my god, come on, come on, come on, control shift C. Testing cheats on, thank you, C, C, and we're gonna go ahead and just, oh my goodness, this is being so laggy, there's a lot going on in this save, so that's what the problem is. Um, she's just here now because it makes my life easier, we'll take her back out, they're not like living together or anything, it just makes my life easier for like let's play purposes. Um, Teresa cannot sit at a table that is not hers, well what is her table then? Did we get different okay <laughs> she's literally sitting right okay you know what honestly this makes me so angry let's just talk let's just talk a little bit what they're okay you didn't they okay i feel so lied to you they're like oh we fixed the musical chairs thing in the new patch no you didn't what is this what is going on right now i'm so annoyed okay you know what they're just awkward and he'd rather talk to this random old man instead of his girlfriend, apparently. Oh, Meredith is here. Should we hang out with Meredith? Ooh, we should have... <laughs> I think that we should talk to Meredith. Let's give her a cheerful introduction. Because, I mean, we should know her because, like, our dad dated her for a little bit. So, like, she was a potential stepmom of ours for a while. Um, but I don't think that Meredith is a big fan of ours. Now, I feel like there's some comments. Now, the question is, do we think that Meredith hates her because Riley hates her? Like, are we, like, one of those moms that sides with our kids? Or are we just, like thinking that she's great because she's dating our our best friend's like son like what how do we feel about Teresa? i mean she's talking to us she seems like a nice girl yeah you know what? i like okay meredith likes her brag about grades <laughs> she would so do that um maybe we could also like ask her about woohoo no ask about her love life because that's a concerning thing like what did you get married to that guy eventually i think you, she would know but you know what that's okay i just yeah, okay, I've decided now, <laughs> this is so random, but I think that Meredith likes Teresa. Um, apparently, Teresa doesn't like Flynn very much. She's just ditching him on their first date, but that's okay. Uh, we're busy talking to our biggest enemy's mother. That's important, too, you know? We should probably talk to our date, huh? All right, well, see you later, Meredith. We're, we're busy right now. I'm just, I'm just hanging out with Flynn Vanderbilt over here. Um, we should come over here and just, let's, let's come over here. We'll, we'll friendly, uh, maybe come brighten his day, I think. That'd be cute. Stop talking to Meredith. There's no room for adults here. You know, they're... Is that Nina? I hate Nina Caliente. She ruins everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is this... You know what? This is really not going so well. Like, at all. You know? Oh wait, hold on. The parfaits... Oh no. It's not... Okay, wait, hold on. The Our biggest enemy... 
is a parfait, isn't she? What? Oh, I don't know her name. Oh, Blondie McGee. What's for? What's her face? Riley's friend. Um, da, 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 da. what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Why are we? T why are we talking to Meredith right now? What a downer on their date. They got all dressed up for this, and then <laughs> they just end up talking. Okay, ask to just be friends. No, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. More choices. Uh, show off our outfit. You do look cute. And it looks like just there are lots of mean people around town. We need to be. Oh, we're talking to her too. Yikes! This is not going so well. I'll admit that this is this is not going well at all. Can we leave? Yeah. Um, no dinner for us then. <laughs> we'll pretend we ate dinner. You know, I just we're gonna head out. We're gonna go maybe to the park. Oh, let's go to the park. I love the park. I go to the park way too much for this place. But you know what? It's a nice place. It's cute. It's pretty. Uh, it's a fun place for teens to go hang out in the middle of the night. Uh, it's really late, probably past her curfew. But I mean, I'm not complaining. Maybe she can get in trouble. If she gets in trouble, it'll be funny, right? If she gets like grounded. <gasps> oh, teen drama. I love teen drama. So I'm very like detached from teen drama in real life, right? Because I'm, I'm, you know, secretly like an 87-year-old woman trapped in like the body of a 17-year-old. But you know what? That's okay. And so I like to play teen drama stuff in my Let's Plays because it's just, it's fun, you know? Like this stuff is so, so surface level and ridiculous, but it's just, it's a good time. Like all these girls fighting and stupid boyfriends and I don't know. I like it. Oh, this woman has showed up here too. Okay, well, apparently we're just all having a great time. Now we're dressed up super nice and we're out at the park. Uh, I'd like, to, you know what? First kiss, first kiss, first kiss. He really has to pee. That's okay. We're going to go for the kiss. Let's hope it goes well. Ugh, don't miss it. Don't miss Oh, if this chick ruins my screenies, you, we're going to have a problem. Oh my goodness. I'm so nervous about this. Oh, I, okay. Just go, just go. Oh, I ship it. And I ship that girl too in the background. Oh, you guys. And we say we don't like this girl because we don't like this girl. But now they look at them. They're like official. Let's ask her to be our girlfriend, actually. You know what? Let's make it official right now. Right here, right now. We're making it official. Ask her to be our girlfriend. That's important. You know? <laughs> Poor Riley. She's got nobody. I mean, she's got those people that are her friends. Fr you know, like friends. But you know, that's just, I kind of, oh, look at Ronald. Wait, hold on. These sims are not the cutest of sims, you know? Uh, oh, th oh, I wanted to get a screen. Oh, that was cute. That was, I should, I wasn't paying attention. That was a cute interaction, though. Oh, oh, you guys. And then this random chick in the background. I just love everything about this, you know? So, <laughs> I just, I just, okay, I, oh my goodness. Stop, stop, stop. All right, well, Flynn, me too. Now, like I said, it's kind of past their curfew. We should probably go home. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go to Manage Worlds and switch her back in her own household because I don't need her living with me right now. And in the meantime, we're doing another joke of the day. So this one is by Rachel and it goes, why couldn't the bike stand on its own? Because it was too tired. I, I know, I know. <laughs> so good, it's so good. Everything about this is so good. Okay, so we will switch over these of Vanderbilt Gray. Transfer sins between <laughs> hashtag Nadium and family. Me too. Well, uh, where do they live? Newcrest? Yes, I believe. Um, Jefferson. Yes, 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 yes. We'll place them there and we're going to go back into our household and hopefully we'll have the baby soon. Um, oh crap. I didn't pick out any names. Mm, a goof. That's okay. <laughs> I'll go find one. Uh, usually I'm more prepared this. I usually have like a name picked out. I have all my comments like right here. I've got my three jokes of the day. I've got my other comments. I don't have any other comments this episode, but usually I've got like other comments, suggestions and stuff. But today, apparently not. I'm unprepared, woefully unprepared. That's okay. You know, it's just, this is a fun time. I feel like I'm having a really rough week because just a lot is going on in real life. And so recording is a very good way to like de-stress for me, which is kind of weird because they'd be like kind of maybe, you know, anxiety inducing or stressful but now i'm having a good time i really like youtube you guys you mean a lot to me i don't want to get all sappy but like a plus hugs for you all let's move on now <laughs> also thank you for 14k um that means wow like i huh, my channel's growing very fast right now and i don't want to talk about numbers too much because it's kind of weird to talk about but um i just ah <laughs> very much stressed welcome to all the new people i hope that you're you know enjoying your stay here ha welcome to the hashtag simsy squad um <laughs> And it's just, we're gonna have a good time. But we have a lot of fun here on Little Simsy, let me tell you. So we're gonna come back in here. Um, oh, look at this OTP though. Oh my gosh. Okay, bring Flynn here, please. Come on, Flynn Vanderbilt, let's go. It's past your bedtime. It's so past Matilda's bedtime. Honey, it's midnight on a Tuesday. Go to sleep. You're like five. Oh no. Um, oh, look at her. Wow, look at her skills. 
A plus passed me. I didn't even know I did that. Oh, she's not even tired. That's why. Okay, whatever. Um, now the question is, we don't really have bedrooms set up for these kids. I guess this is her room right here, huh? Uh, she'll come sleep here. And then we'll have Flynn. I think he should do his homework, huh? Yeah, probably. Do we, we don't have a desk to do our homework on. Wow, this is really bad. I'm like not prepared at all. Baking? When did you get a baking skill? Baking level two? What? Guitar? Oh, he's a musician? Wow, what a cool guy. So well-rounded, you know? He can bake, he can play the instruments. The instruments. <laughs> wow. I Wow. Just well. Let's stay up and do your homework, though. This is very, like, teen-related, right? Doing your homework at midnight? Not me. I don't procrastinate. I'm a good noodle, but people like Flynn, man, you know? Those B students <laughs> doing their homework at midnight? Gosh. You know what? I think we should woohoo. <laughs> I feel like that's just... I ship these two a lot, and you know what? I don't want to neglect them, so have a good time while we do our homework, friends. No, <laughs> okay. Also, auto lights. Auto lights. I don't want to have this much money. I feel weird having this much money, but also our bills are going to be very expensive, and so I don't want to have to worry about that so much. So it's good to be kind of prepared. Also, this is Nadine's like least favorite style of house, and now she's living in it, and I kind of feel bad about that. But otherwise, you know what? It's fine. She used to have this really classy modern house we lived in, and it was beautiful. If you watched last season, it was great. Uh, but this house is the exact opposite of that. Also, her kitchen's a lot smaller. I don't know. Um, I do like the house a lot, though, so I'm not mad about it. I mean, I built them both, so I'm not complaining at all. But you know what? That's just me. Why are you feeling tense? What's your do? Oh, not anymore. Okay, well, what is the tense part of this? Not enough exercise? Oh, fam, you need to calm down. It's not enough exercise. Some of us don't exercise at all, fam. Fa I, fam, oh my god. Wow, I need to stop saying fam. That's so annoying. I'm so annoying. I'm sorry. Wow, I, <laughs> I have failed you. I promise it will never happen again. Look at, though, like, honestly, I just, he, oh dear. Look at that. It's spinning. I'm not even touching the camera. I, have, uh, I don't have edge going on. It's a Mac glitch, but it's super annoying, and I wish it would stop. Um, like, sometimes when I spin the camera, it just sort of, like, starts moving on its own, and then I can't stop it. And um, thanks, iMac. You're great. Thanks, Sims, for the Mac. You're great, too. Just so many glitches. I want to get screenshots of this, though, because look at him in his fancy clothes, doing his homework. So good. You know, what a good noodle. We think that I'm a good noodle, but, like, this kid is the real MVP, you know? No. <laughs> Okay, I'm sort of into maybe forcing Nadine into labor right now. I feel like that's kind of bad, but you know what? We are not opposed to cheats here on Lil Simsy. So, you know, actually, you know what? She is going into labor early. That, that's a realistic thing. You know what? Oh, look, the baby's coming. The baby's coming. Oh, 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 said Sage. Oh, look, the baby's coming. The baby's... Oh, the baby's coming. Wow, that's shocking. No, <laughs> by the way, I do that a lot in my Let's Plays. Like, I... Mm, Spoiler alert, this happens, and then I pretend that I didn't do it, but I always do. So, you know what? That's just exposed. Kayla's a cheater, but that's okay. This isn't about money here, or about, like, playing the actual game. It's about the story, so. Oh my god, we're in labor. Hold on. Wait, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Let's go to the hospital. Stop it. I want to go to the hospital. She looks so cute in her, like, little nerd outfit. Happy baby at hospital. We're gonna it's like a Superman shirt. Superheroes of, of some sort short shirt. Wow. So that's why I call it a nerd outfit. Um, I'm a nerd, so I'm allowed to say that. That's justified. We're going to the hospital with Liam Gray. All right, now for the third and final joke of the day. It's a good time for this. This one is by Teresa, and it goes, how much does a hipster weigh? An Instagram. Oh, I know, I know. Oh my gosh, I just, that one was coming to a long time ago, like the first day that episode was uploaded, and I laughed so hard. I was like crying, I thought, for the first time. I just, you guys are funny. I love dumb jokes, you know? This, this Let's Play is a good time. I'm having a good time. How about you? 19 minutes so far of pure joy. Soon to be 26 minutes of pure joy, you know? That's just, that's what you get here on Lil Simsy. 26 minutes of pure joy. Now, anyway. Every single day, too. Like, look, I'm so ahead of the game, right? It's, it's the, oh, she's not wearing a shirt. <gasps> Heathens. Oh, wait, pause. I want screenings of this. I want screenings of this. Pause the game. Stop. Oh, I missed the freak out. I missed the freak out. I'm so upset my game wouldn't pause and so I couldn't take screenies. What is your problem? Dude. Didn't he date What's-Her-Face for a while? This this parfait chick? Didn't he date her? I feel like he dated this parfait chick, the doctor. I'm almost positive he dated her for a brief stint back in the last Let's Play. Did he? Somebody comment down below. I'm pretty sure he did date her. He also almost dated Meredith's mom. That's a long story. Um, so, well, look at this freak out. Like, me too, you know, Liam. This is your third kid. I think that you're okay. You have a good job. 
decent amount. Oh, look at her being naked at the hospital. This is like a typical day in the life for my Sims. Being naked at the hospital. Now let's come check in to this woman with really, really interesting hair. You know, I really don't like colored hair like this. I feel like it just looks like she put stripes in her head. You know, it's a really cool hairstyle, but when you put the colors, it looks like she put stripes in her head, you know? People that do like really bad highlights by accident and then they have like zebra stripes, you know? That's what this looks like to me. <laughs> no offense if you have that. I don't mean to be like throwing shade or anything, but still. Also, my cat is making cat noises right now and it's kind of stressing me out. Like, calm down, buddy. Be quiet. I'm recording, you know? Gee, some people. <gasps> Look at her belly. I can't even take pictures because she's naked. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. I did this to myself. I know that. But you know what? She shouldn't be wearing no clothes. Wow. Wow. You, okay, you're not even mad about it. This is such a typical Kayla Let's Play. Like, just, I uninstalled too much CC, and so my Sims are always naked. It just, it happens, you know? He's buying food from, we don't have enough money for that. Look at you making a weird microwave dinner in the middle of the night at a hospital. That, okay, I guess it's kind of realistic, right? Maybe, like, being at the hospital in the middle of the night making microwave dinners. Go have the baby. I, oh, I'm a sweetie Gonzalez through this. We need to just, it needs to happen. Let's go, Nadine. I'm excited about this. Oh my god, we're, it's happening, it's happening. Oh, I'm so not ready. <gasps> okay. Here we go, you guys. Are you ready? Who's the doctor? Oh, it is, it is her. So this is our, Riley's best friend slash enemy's mother, uh, which is interesting. Didn't know she was a doctor, but apparently she is, and I hope she's a good one, because I could really use some fine, you know, care being had for my soon-to-be child. I can't words right now. Look at this woman, too. Please don't goof. Oh, is what? <sighs> I'm nervous. What are we going to name the kid? Oh my god, I'm so not ready for this. <laughs> I hope he's blonde. We have too many, like, black-haired sims in this family. I want a little blonde baby. You know, that'd be so cute, right? Hurry up. Let's go. I'm waiting for this. Come on, Pippa. Whatever your name is. Not Pippa. No, this, that's Pippa's mom. Paris? No. Penelope. Penelope. Penelope's the mother of Pippa. That's correct. <gasps> it's a boy. We already knew that, but, like, yay. <laughs> Okay, so scrolling through some comments, um, I probably should have looked at an older episode because there weren't many names on the last episode, I don't think I asked for them, but uh, I see this person in my comments all the time, and his name is Carson, and I like the name Carson, so we're gonna name this baby Carson, you're welcome Carson, I chose you, you've been chosen, that's, that's great, <gasps> ah, I'm excited, okay, hold on, please hurry, yes, no, maybe so, ah, this is so weird how it takes a second to like register there's a baby in the household. Give it, give it it's, it's playing. Give it a second. Ah! Carson has been born. Nadine and Liam had a baby. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Let's go meet it. I called it an it. Him. Oh, she's naked again. This is so unprofessional. Oh, I can't even take pictures of this because she's not wearing a shirt. Uh, I just want pictures of Carson. I'm so upset. I like the name Carson. That's a good name, right? 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 I just choose a commenter's name from now on. That's good. Commenter of the day is now Carson. <laughs> he got a baby note out for him. Congratulations. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and just move on. I wanna go home. I wanna hang out with my baby. I wanna just end the episode on just a good note. You know, we have babies. We have terrible dates. We have just a bunch, this episode, like last week we had a bad date for Riley. We have a bad date for Liam now. Not Liam, whoa, Liam's married. A now she puts her, okay, really? You put your clothes back on now? Hmm, okay, home, let's just go home. Let's just go home, Kayla. It's gonna be fine. I'm annoyed. Wow, okay, I didn't realize I was gonna be that like, mad about this, but I am. I really just am, you know? Uh, we live in ooh, Newcrest, don't we? Yes. I almost forgot for a second, but I didn't. I figured it out. I want to get some screens of the baby. Uh, maybe decorate the nursery off camera, and then we'll end the episode. Um, actually, I don't want to decorate the nursery. I'm just going to change some colors. It's pink right now. I don't want to make We'll make it like orange or something. Yeah, orange. That's a good color. I like orange. Carson loves orange. Did you know that? He just, he loves orange. He's a baby, but he knows for sure. That's, that's his one personality trait. That he loves orange and oranges, like the fruit. The fruit and the color, A+, plus, just the best thing ever. So Me too, you know? Except not really, I don't like oranges that much. How, do you like orange? I live in Florida. There are like orange trees everywhere. That's that's like an inside joke, not really, but like sort of. There's like orange farms and um, I'm not a fan. They smell good, but they I don't like the taste of them. Oops, I like orange juice though. I think it's a texture. What am I talking about right now? <laughs> I don't like oranges. Me too, Kayla, me too. Uh, well, obviously, because I'm agreeing with myself. That makes sense. I. I get so awkward on loading screens, it's so bad, so I do comments of the day like this because then I can talk about those instead of myself because when I do, I talk about oranges. Like, what? What? Anyway, we're home and now we're in clothes again. What a surprise. And also, what a first, you know? What a first. Let's, he's, he's a tan little baby. He's a tan little guy. Carson Vanderbilt. Um, oh, oh, 
Oh my god, the first one to hold him is his brother? <gasps> oh, this makes me so happy and sad at the same time. Look at this. Look at this. Flynn has a little baby brother. Oh my gosh. I love everything about this. I love everything about this. He's going to be such a good brother. He's always wanted a baby brother. Oh my gosh. He's, he had this like annoying little sister. Now he's got a brother. For He finally has a brother. Oh my gosh. I hope Matilda likes him too. This is so, everything about this is great. I just love this so much. Look at the baby. Such a cute little baby. Let's make the colors better. Uh, let's make it orange. Is there a good orange wallpaper in The Sims 4? For And I can't see because you turned the lights off. You annoying little brat. Now I shouldn't have said that to you. I didn't mean to, blah, blah, but we're going to place this one out there, and we're going to put this one in here, and now it's bright again. See, look at that weird trick, you know? Oh, apparently. <laughs> Never mind. Um, we're just going to go turn on the lights then. I thought it was going to work. It works in build mode usually, um, but not here, apparently. Turn on all lights by mode before they get a chance to come in. Ugh, I don't want, oh, Matilda's going to be mad about this. Let's make the colors. This is a bad rug for this room. Um, come on, let me click, what the heck with the lag? Come on, game. Oh, that's a good color. You know what? Let's, let's do orange. We're doing orange. That's good. Annoying orange, right? Uh, that's a, that's a dead show. I haven't heard about that in a long time. Uh, okay. Oh, this is an interesting greeny or, ooh, I kind of love that. I was going to do orange, but I like green instead. Now, <laughs> just green and orange are good neutral colors, you know? Uh, this is orange though. Ooh, see, I knew I wanted orange and I got orange. You know, this is not a good chair for this room. I'm going to trash it. I'm going to get a toy or something. We'll do it off camera, though. <laughs> this is such a waste of time, honestly. Like, make this thing, like, rainbow instead. Um, just less pink and more, you know, neutral stuff. Uh, I like the orange a lot. I like this. This is good. This could be better, but instead it's just good, you know? I can't color the stupid baby's thingy. It makes me so mad. Okay. Now, we're going to come have, I think, Matilda meet the baby first. Because we are, I feel like... At, in in real life, it's probably like a couple days after the baby was born, and so they're coming home from the hospital now, not like right after it happened, but like a couple days after. And so the parents have seen the baby enough; they don't need to like hug it right now. We're gonna have Matilda come meet the baby, uh, her precious baby brother. Hopefully, she likes it um, because she could get really upset. Now let's get some pictures of her. I want to see her reaction up close and personal. This is the way we're going to end the episode, which is what, like, what Matilda thinks. Obviously, she's the most important person in the whole Let's Play, so um, I'm very concerned about her reaction to the baby. Now, let's get over here in a good old screeny corner. I'm, it's, come on, screen. It's moving. Stop it! Stop it! I want my screenies. Jeez. Screenies or it didn't happen. You know how it works. Okay, are you joking me? No, no, no. I refuse to let this happen to me. Fine, I'll push it this way. <laughs> Please stop it. I just want to take screenies. <laughs> Fine. I won't take screenies in tab mode because apparently it doesn't want to work. I hate Max. I hate everything about this. I just want to play The Sims. Now, oh, I can't even get low enough so that I can take the pictures. All right. Well, this is good, right? We can see her from this angle. I don't know. Man, I wanted a good screeny reaction. This is a lame, 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 lame. Let's just watch. Okay. <laughs> she seems to like the baby. Oh, what are our thoughts on the baby? Does she like it? She doesn't have a reaction. They always have a reaction. Come on, come with the reaction. Like, for example, Evelyn Huntley is very upset about her sibling. But these two, like, what, nothing? Indifferent? You don't care? There's a baby in your house. It's going to steal your thunder. You don't even care. Okay, well, you know what? Never mind then. That's that. That's the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. This was a mess. I think on a scale of one to mess, this is a 57%. That doesn't make sense. I'm at like a 57. Like it's way above the scale. I can't even speak. I just oh, compose yourself. Kayla, let's just end the episode. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those funny YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody.